I'm not even sure how to pronounce his name. It's uh shit. I apologize ahead of time for it, the mispronunciation. But I'm gonna say Ku Chulan. I think I don't know how to pronounce the guy's name. I'm so sorry about that. Never was able to. And still can't because clearly I can't. But today we'll be going over his guide and uh yeah. That's, that's the sound of it. Now, I'm actually rather fond of this guy, despite his power not being drastically high or whatever. I've always enjoyed his character in and out of the, like, in the game. I don't know too much about who he is, because I'm not, I, I skipped most of the cutscenes, and I didn't care to read any of the bond levels. And, uh, I never actually you know, care to read anything besides the thank yous and shit whenever it pops at the bottom of the screen. Mainly because I skipped through half the uh, story and shit because I want to play the game. But, uh, pretty much, I've always found him to be one of the more honorable and enjoyable characters in the entire franchise, actually. Merely because he's just, he's honorable, like, straight up he beat the shit out of, uh, a kid just because plus I mean how he treats uh, Tosaka during the entire uh, anime is by far one of the best things just because he's so respectful and honorable it's just kind of it's hard not to enjoy this guy at all uh, he's also rather funny too like I would continue talking about uh, like why he's so funny but and you know stuff like that but I don't want to spoil too much more but most definitely is in my opinion one of the better servants and after playing as him for the trophy which is why you see the one battle uh, under the name here this time I uh besides my extensive research off this account I mean I've enjoyed him so much that and, you know I actually thought about playing as him more so he has a base attack and oops defense of uh, 150 all across the board is just 150 he's balanced out he's of the Lancer class which hey Lancers are badass in this I swear they are like I'm not just talking about the game but just all together they seem to be the more honorable badass characters in the game or the franchise actually so well, let's counter let's get down to the actor skills I've chose for the guy now this build I have is not directly of any particular power because I I want to experiment with him instead of uh, my typical you know the balanced characters you know keep them balanced I'm still gonna keep with that however I think with well not with the think like with this build I kind of had the idea of changing that and making this more of a you know, a little more special to him, just be or uh, different, just because of how much I enjoyed the guy. So, uh, yeah. And with how I plan on playing as him, he's gonna have a very similar build to many people. Like, I have a little bit of range to him. I do believe I have a little, and most of this is just rush attacks and stuff like that that I do, or longer ranged. But uh, the first skill I equipped on him was Magic Spear Throw. Magic Spear Throw is pretty much uh, all he does is uh he throws his spear forward. <laughs> and that's it. it. It's stupidly basic. Nothing special. Nothing too fancy. Just throw the spear forward, and boom, attack. All that damage. This does a total damage of fourteen point thirty nine, based you know damage at max with an eight second cooldown now one of the bigger things I've uh, enjoyed is uh, the fact that you know it's very simple and very effective you know he's not supposed to be you know overpowered like Carol or whatever but uh, hold on guys I'm actually going to fix the title of this uh, guide right now because I uh, feel like you know I have to 
because it, it would be kind of uh, not embarrassing, but kind of disres not disrespectful. Just I, I want to make sure the full name is there, so it's not like who. So I had to back out to spell his name correctly, and the second part instead of just Ku or Su or however it's pronounced. But yeah. Magic Spear Throw is a basic attack, but it does the job well. And its damage isn't too low or too high. Um, next attack, I've decided to put Spearcraft Fangs of Earth. This is a Lancer class skill. And being this is the first Lancer, which is also another reason is because like he's a Lancer, I decided to go for more of a different approach than I normally would because by technicalities a lancer is just as powerful as a saber class servant however their preferred weapon is a lance of some sort or a staff in a way where sabers use more of a traditional sword in my if I'm not mistaken I was gonna say in my opinion but no uh, it's if I'm not mistaken this time but uh, because of that I decided to uh, I wanted to do something a little more special for Lancer, plus, I mean, here I like, you know, making sure, because the dude was, like, downright badass powerful within the anime. Although he, I don't remember too much of the screen time of the fighting he did, but he definitely did have a downright high amount of power while fighting. So that's where I'm coming from. The defense, I will also up the defense like normal, but just with the traditional uh, things, you'll probably see me add once I add them. Because I always do that. Now, at this point, you might see a trending pattern that, you know, I generally put down the same, uh, you know, a bunch of the same skills. Mainly because that's only be for the simple fact that there's only so many skills one can put on. And there's only a few things that you could change here and there to make it efficient, so I will say that. But initially, the way I bu I'm building these guys and showing, guiding you through is simply to just be like, hey, this is, you know, with this skill set, this is how you do it, so. Or what feels best with what, because, like, with Gaiwen, he was slow as hell, bad at combos, like, powerful he may be, but slow as well so that's kind of where I'm coming from here is they may seem similar but I'm only picking what's best for each one of these servants in their own specific specialization even if I am limited on what install skills and perks to choose and they all seem to be the same but I mean they're all different and you know every perspective you have to really think about it and understand where I'm trying to come from. And that's the reason why I try to explain everything behind while I'm doing this instead of just use these, use that, and then display it. And that's why I explain a little more. And I just want to go and uh, restate that and clarify that just because I thought that would be uh, real beneficial for everybody to know that, you know, although it looks the same, just on a different character, like. Oh, this guy's guide, I could beat him to, uh, making this guy's guide way before he even thinks about it, and, you know, use what I used in one guide and be like, yeah, that, that's how you build them. You could easily do that with, to everybody. Like, if you wanted to, you could Obsonite, Anti-Hero, Double Skill, every last damn set, and call that a day, and fight everybody like that. Makes you near invincible. But I, what I'm doing is I'm specializing more toward a, you know, point instead of just copy-paste, same bullshit, different person. So that's what I'm doing here instead of just one skill all across the board, one shot everybody. So I'm clarifying that now so you understand. Or just a few minor things that may change. Sure, it's minor, it seems useless, but those small minor changes mean a lot in battle like every time I talk about a uh, mana recovery for the few servants I've chosen it so far I mean they're getting their thing quicker 
and just a tad bit quicker but that tad bit of time can be used to do a whole lot so but back onto the skill itself I just want to throw that out there now so yeah but uh, the things of the of earth you're gonna freely dash around at a high speed pretty much uh the best way of putting this is for anyone who's ever seen it but uh in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 or it turned out to be the ultimate variation or the original variation either one would do just fine what's gonna happen is you pretty much uh, your super move for the uh, MU MVC uh, there's a move for Albert Wesker where he's gonna take off his glasses and bolt across the screen he's gonna keep spamming bolting back and forth off screen you know gradually getting higher and higher that's pretty much what this skill is gonna do is he's gonna take he's gonna do whatever the hell he does he's gonna start uh, he's gonna be on your screen he's gonna go dash forward hit everybody and like a super rapid speed he's gonna turn around or turn in a different direction and keep going and he's gonna hit everybody in the uh, area around him and he's gonna just wipe down everyone's health at the very least now that's good for crowd control at the very least so he's going to pop back and forth and stuff like that so that's what that move so initially going to do I like being able to reference it instead of just explain it because if I just kind of explained it how the you know someone else normally would it would just sound not you know it'd just give you a false image of what it's actually going to do or whatever that may be so I want to, you know, try to give an example whenever I do know one. And this time I actually did, so woohoo on me, I get bonus points. So, yeah, hold on. There we go, sorry, no, something was, I had to do something with, you know, like, yeah, it's just stuff. But yeah, this is going to go at 14.40 with an 11 second cooldown. It's actually 0.01% better than the, uh throwing the magic spear throw by attack damage however it's ultimately when you think about it it's a weak skill or it's worse than magic spear throw stat wise but when it comes down to it this is also a better skill because what this is going to do is once activated this uh, ability is gonna chain 14.40 every hit in a rapid succession for a brief amount of time and it's gonna go and do 14 28 47 or 56 yeah I doubled that because you know just the general idea so that's kind of how this is gonna go and this is our first Lancer skill of the map uh, of all the guide so yeah you're welcome Next, this is where I would say this is where he specializes and over the other Lancers because there's multiple Lancers in this game. Now, with how I'm going to show you the build, he's going to differ from everybody else. Usually, I would just keep this going and yeah, I'd just keep it going, but and I'd keep it as even like add more attack skills and stuff but I think this time with how uh, this goes I'm actually going to or I'm going to show you that I'm going to put more defense a, a little more defense on him than power attacks like support and defense will dominate over attacks this on this guide and that's mainly because of this one ability right here what this does is it has no attack power. It's a buff skill, and it has no cool. And well, it has a cooldown. It has a 25 second cooldown. But what this does is it's costing your defense and health for power. That's exactly what this is doing. You're going to come here. You're gonna go uh, activate that. You're gonna go and gain a huge amount of power for a brief moment of time, but while that's activated, you are losing a whole lot of, well, not like a huge significant amount, but you will be losing defense and health, so 
it's a very questionable skill and it's like why do something like that for someone who's balanced he has a simple defense of 14 or not 14 but uh his attack and defense is at you know 1500 he's balanced why are you disrupting that balance i have like although it may seem like a stupid petty reason or whatever it may be I'm doing that mainly because I feel like, you know, they should have made him definitely stronger than he is. Plus, if you have, uh, most of his attack skills are extremely weak on his, or not extremely weak, but could definitely be stronger for the ones I've selected. And so because of that, I feel it could definitely benefit once he gains the uh, attack bonus. And if you do it correctly, defense and stuff won't matter as much. Especially with the code cast and stuff. So this is honestly a good call. Because it's also going to buff your skills. So, And if you don't uh, like the idea of weakening yourself for power. I was actually going to, on the other side. I was going to original people's like, reduced earth. Increased speed. No, not, not even worth putting on because all it is is a teleport and an attack right as you you know get in front of them but that was more or less like a teleport and knock back everybody it's pretty much like a dash and it just throws everybody back it's it's stupid but if you were to uh, listen to what I was going or uh, listen to this and don't want the uh, Eighth Nabliga, I think I'm gonna just call it Nab or Gab. All right, it, it's gonna be called. Yeah, it's gonna be Gaff. Yep, Gab. That's it, Gab now. But yep, uh, uh, if you want it to go and exchange that for more of a insurance, uh, you could use. I recommend using the Spearcraft Claw of the Sky. You're gonna stab your spear into the ground, jump up. And come down. Pretty much is like a gravity spike. For anyone who knows what I'm referring to, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, there is a class specialist known as the Ruin. And there's two abilities this guy has. He can increase his overall speed, or he could use his weapon, which uh, allows him to jump up in air and uh, slam his weapon into the ground killing everybody in a certain radius that's pretty much what this is going to do is he's going to jump up slam his spear into the ground and it's pretty much going to create a little shockwave too and not like a what you would think of a shockwave it's just an initial area of attack so fuck off so yeah that's what that's going to be is I am not doing this I will turn off that damn notification. But yeah, that's pretty much that. Yeah, it's got the highest attack of, of, you know, the Spearcrafts, even above uh, Spearcraft Punishment of Thorns, which it's a stun attack. But, I mean, it wasn't, of all his skills, it's a good skill, don't get me wrong, but these skills, I think, do more, ben has more of a benefit than the one he has or then the uh, thorn of pun or punishment of thorns but yeah this has a 19.20 attack with a 9 second cooldown by far significantly better than the first two skills altogether now if you want to actually change that out what I would do is have my secondary loadout this is one of the very few times where I would say there's a secondary loadout that I completely approve and I that I occasionally will use actually but I will tell you that in a minute after I get done explaining the explaining the Gi blog this is uh, also another Lancer class skill and what's nice about this is if I'm not mistaken and I'm pretty sure I'm not this is actually his noble phantasm just not as powerful if I'm not like I kid you not if I'm not mistaken this is the same exact name of his Noble Phantasm. You could use that during the entire match. Which is another reason why this guy's badass on his own right, so. This is a rush attack skill though. It's 
a lancer attack, 25.92 damage. 13 second cooldown. So far, it's definitely, I don't think this, it's the highest cooldown out of the buff skill, but it is definitely the most powerful. And matching that up with the gab, you will be increasing your attack power even more. So whatever you hit, you're killing, I guarantee it. But what this is going to do is you're going to pretty much up your spear is going to pierce through uh, enemies zigzagging toward uh, a certain enemy's opponent or like a certain enemy's heart really according to that. But pretty much all it's going to do is uh, it's going to zigzag and it's going to focus on one enemy and every enemy in between is going to get hit as well. But either which way, I forgot exactly how this plays out because it's, it's been a good hot minute since I've used them, but that's the first loadout I just uh, recommend using. The next loadout I recommend using, oops, yeah, don't, don't save any of that. The next loadout I recommend using is Spearcraft Claw, which I just explained, and this time I would add Punishment of Thorns and keep the other two uh, skills. This is a powerhouse build right here. You're taking those more powered up skills and you're using them. It's all about power here and you got to stun just in case. Like, uh, this is, I also do, uh, will say that, uh, the punishment of thorns, what this is, will do to your opponent is once they get hit with this and you activate the blog, this should, in fact, activate a stun rush move. So, very similar to Astolfo's uh, lance where he just spins around, stuns everybody, and you hop on the Hippogriff rush and it activates. That's only because it's stun plus rush. And I've noticed that stun moves are the... Once you use that it's, and you have a rush move or something or use an ability... Is almost a guaranteed that you'll hit them with a uh, rush move. Now I could uh, not. I can't say that for all the time, but I could say a good part of the time. Rush skills, tagged up with uh, stun moves, will guarantee that up. So I will not be showing you this loadout though, because I will not. But I will actually go and say I will I will uh, take out the spearcraft and replace it with fangs of the earth. Oops, what did I take off? No, you put that right back on, bitch. This is what I'm going to actually show you, a mixture of the two loadouts. So you get kind of a general concept. Actually, no, I'm not even going to show you that. I'm just going to show you the original loadout. If there's enough time, I'll show you my secondary loadout. But next up, uh, you will see a half-made class. That's what this is. It's a half-made class. And I am going to take all this off because half this don't matter. Uh, you know the general just by now is if you've been uh, coming into my guide, which... Speaking of that, before I continue on, I will, s I'm going to sit here and, yeah, I'm going to actually, before we continue, I'm just going to set the main customization uh, menu here, and I will actually give a shout out to the following people for their constant support during this, during every guide of mine. They have been a huge help, otherwise, we're not really like, not directly uh, help, but they've been here a lot. They've been learning stuff, and I just want to give like a, a shout out to these people because you know they're displaying uh, information that's really useful for me to use throughout all of this, and you know they've just been uh, very useful. Now I'm I can't you know point out every 650 I do believe eight people all because uh hold on i just want to make sure that number is accurate my bad it's 659 people i cannot give a shout out to every one of you i am so sorry but i cannot 
but I will go and give a shout out to uh, my wonderful opponent, Soul Warrior EX, also uh, known as Soul. They are a great opponent. I will go and I do apologize ahead of time if I uh, mispronounce it, your names and stuff. I'm also going to give a shout out to. I'm going to say. Edeline, I want to say that's how you pronounce it. I, I'm so sorry if I mispronounce your name. But those two have been in these guides watching this so much. Uh, you know, been giving suggestions and learning off of my, you know, things. And giving me information. Like, so some of the things that I've learned is because Soul wants to go and uh, tell me. Now, this I'm going to actually have to go and cut off uh, the video right here. So I could uh, uh, read off a few more of the uh, support to this like uh, during the Robin Hood guide uh, these people were a huge help during all of that because I, I actually learned a few things off that now if you have uh, because I read the comments a lot in uh, the videos like I said I will reply to them I, I should have meant it but uh, I would like to give a shout out to uh Pretty much the entire Kawi, uh, pretty much my the entire, uh, I can't pronounce the first part of it, I'm sorry, but yeah. But it's, it's a Nostalfo community, it's pretty much a community full of fans of Astolfo. But, uh, the following I would like to give shout out to Little Clown 5 or 85666. Again, we have the gracious Soul Warrior, who is by far one of the best. Hot Dog racer 45 for all the tribute to, they do to the not only to the community just all together which you know I use the community for some of the information I do have here Blank the Ripper very useful as well cuz I, I definitely have learned a lot off these people so far and I want to say miss Cure Mori, I think, or Q O me, maybe. I I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, we also have Astolfo B. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna take a second. And just I'm taking a second for that name because yeah. Uh, El Foyolio, I think. I am so sorry. I am probably butchering that like crazy right now. And then uh. A Yosumi, I think. I think it's Yosumi, maybe. I think. I very well may have mispronounced that by far. But like I said, I I do uh, mess that up, mess up names a bit, especially with some of these names are very hard to pronounce at times. But uh, I would also like to say Odin Demetrius twenty five. I would like to give a huge shout out to him as well, as long as Count Dracula. 694 we have uh, the final one I'm giving thanks to for not only the support but the help in making like the information and shit is JJM King 20 that is the final person I'm giving shout out to during this because all of them have been like everyone I just mentioned has a huge huge impact on these guides whether they're uh like not directly like not as a make and i'm not as of the complete here take this information like the bits and small things they do even if they're not aware of what's going on like i let them know about these guides but whether they actually come here and view that is not the point it's just the fact that they give off information that i use you know not everything that's said but i do take everything said in uh, the community to an account to everything like I listen to everything not only because I am a moderator of that community and you know I feel as if it's my job but mainly because even if I was to be demoted right now I would still do the same thing not because it's a habit because I've only had the title of moderator for not even a week now actually but mainly because I just care to hear what everyone thinks and I enjoy hearing what people say and if I feel like I could contribute to the conversation I do so but I just want to go and give a quick shout out to those folks for being a just being cool people 
B for just, you know, giving information, whether it's useful information or whatever, or just being them. That's, in the very least, just thank you to all those people so much. And I will uh, reiterate for Soul Warrior, because that, uh, my Soul Warrior has been the one enemy I have fought almost day in, day out in these guides. During the online match, that's been my opponent a good 90% of the time. Besides, like, maybe a one incident where I didn't fight him. I said them. I, I can't. I don't know if it's a him or a her, so. That's where, you know, it, it's a bit tricky. That's why I keep saying them. But, uh, that's my opponent. That's been my opponent for so many times. And, you know, for the constant fact of the support of even, you know, fighting me at these times, like. And given pointers to all these guys, I just want to really reiterate the fact that I'm thankful for the, you know, the contribute to that. Even if I don't care about the views, the subs, the likes, the anything like that, I mean, it helps you guys out. That's what this is entirely about. I said this once, I'll say it again. It's all about helping you guys out, sharing my knowledge with everybody else. Like... Eventually, when I get back down to it, I will be making a guide to the Resident Evil 3 remake for the Inferno so you can get and beat that son of a bitch even without the rocket launcher or the usage of any special bot item. But that is on a different base. I am not going to be doing that. Uh, not yet. I'll also be, you know, doing other guides and stuff for other games just... I'm just sharing off of knowledge and experiences and just like, hey, this can be done better by doing so, 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 so. You could probably do so, 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 and then improve this, so. I would just like to say that, and yeah. But moving on to the actual install skills now that I'm not giving thanks to anybody. Uh, like I said, Marshall Blessing, put it on everybody until I tell you not to. Like, I don't see, like, I clearly just said I'm putting a bunch of power or a bunch more power on uh, our Lancer plus on top of all of that I mean I do believe in the Ostalifo or the Robin Hood guide that putting it on everybody unless stated because I said it once I'll say it again active skills make the servant the servant they are otherwise you're just doing a you know, different slash with a different look it's all cosmetic otherwise. But we are definitely going to put down Marshall Blessing. And then we are also going to put Bravery under him. We will put one Bravery and a Natural Body. We are done with his attack skills. We are boosting up his active skill attack. His normal attack power. And we're increasing all of his power. Throughout the entire match by KOs. So, next, we will put down, I'm still not putting any institution on him. Not yet. He will, may very well be the first instant where I will put that on. But not, or anti-hero will be the first skill to put on. Next, ant, or magic resistance. And he has a anti-resistance, or magic resist on him. So, a huge help there. We're actually going to put down a... No, wait, I was going to put down a second one, but I, I decided not to. Obstinite will be the third skill. Oops. There we go. And from here is, is your choice. I'm going over to Imperial, or not Imperial, but to the support roles. I am actually going to put down the uh, rare occasion where I would say there will be no need for mana recovery still. I will come all the way down. Reduced Earth. With Reduced Earth. That's right, there will be two of them. We will have two separate reduced Earths. And actually, 
take I'm going to say I'm taking off anti hero right here right now and you're like why, why aren't you putting uh, the imperial privilege answer on there this strengthens up rush attacks like the rider attacks is the same thing so keep that in mind which is kind of silly how they did that to have multiple characters with the same or multiple privileges with the same exact usage but we're going back over to support skills now or uh, defense skills and this is where I'm gonna say we're putting institution on for the first time that's your first skill buddy that is the very first time I'm doing this because anti-hero is very specific to what enemy you're fighting although yes you find those throughout the match you cannot put a price or yeah a price on you know or no not price you can't really you can guarantee a certain enemy servant every match but it is better to have uh, the institution because what that does is it may neutralize any type of uh, damage done to you whether it's elemental physical you name it the reason why I'm saying to do that is simply because if you do this what this will do to you is pretty much add both uh, magic resistance obstinite and anti-hero all in one skill on top of the chance that you know support troops will come in and do the same exact thing like I know well if you've seen any of my previous streams whether they're chill streams or guides you would have noticed that oops you would have uh, noticed that my uh what my not speed but uh, shit you will have noticed excuse me I'm changing out ears oh sorry about that I was changing my earpiece out of my ear because this thing's actually rather uncomfortable but uh, you will see that uh, I would have like let's say Janae is the art Janae should jump in block the attack and from like whenever I'm being get my ass handed to me comboed or whatever it may be she will hop in and assist with that that's what that's pretty much gonna do is just it's gonna be a little more frequent than when Janae or any of the others will hop in or your support troops would hop in now we are moving on to the double skill build what we are going to do here is we're going to take the anti-hero or magic res magic resistance and institution. And again, this may nerf your damn damage. So you can take off, oops, you can take off your magic resist, tap that sucker on right here, and you could also take off your uh obstinite as well and replace it with an or the obstinite anti-hero. You could also take off your uh, obstinite or your magic resist and replace it with the uh, obstinite and inspiritus. Why am I doing this? Because he gets even more defense to balance out all that extra power you're going to be getting. And you know, we're not really balancing that out because I'm definitely going to take and start really bumping up his uh, attack in a minute. Like, that's what the rest of these will be is... But boosting up his attack power and but what this is also going to do is if you were defeat it because of this build I have on him once you get defeated with that occasion to say they get past all this defense on you you will notice that uh, in his unique skill he has battle continuation I don't talk about this very much however the uh, invents the uh, spiritus it gives you more health while respawning and what's nice about this is although yes it may be like well I don't plan on dying but when you it's just it's useful to have especially since it's also going plus one which also increases the obstinate defense on you at the very least because although it's there for half of the skill it boosts up the entire skill so there is that that's all we're taking with us this is where I say if you don't want all that extra speed take off one of the reduced earth if you can't tell I took off the you know the weaker variation of the uh, reduced earth 
And here is where we're about to go and pimp this shit out. I am moving uh, that over there, or moving this right here. So you can see all the benefits. Imperial Rider and Blessing. Take off and Blessing right now. Fuck that skill. Next, we are going to take Imperial Lancer this time. And Natural Body and say, fuck Natural Body. Thus giving us even more damage and rush attacks on both accounts. Plus, you're getting the benefits of Martial Blessing and Natural Body. Next, we got Bravery. We are not putting nothing else than Martial Blessing. Monstrous Strength, I will pull that up because I don't want to misinform you. This improves Guard Breaks. That's all it is. And, oops. There we go. And you'll be like, why don't you just put down another thing? Because it's useless. Next, though, I will say that I will put down... Shit, what's it called? I forgot the name of the attack. All right. I I'm, I'm having a moment. I'm putting down Imperial Privilege Berserker and Bravery. Thus taking out the Bravery section of the entire thing. And look at that, although I have three separate class Imperials. Now, you may be like, you've never talked about Imperial Berserker before because you haven't played Berserker yet. You don't have a Berserker guide up. What does it do? Well, that's what I'm going to tell you. As soon as I find it, it's, it's right here. This is going to increase area attack skills. So pretty much that no Phantasm-like skill. That's what this is going to boost up, is that area effect is going to do. And at the very least, it's still there because, you know, it's 27, 25 boosted to 27. And instead of just having the bravery up there, which has no benefits, this is going to be significantly stronger than that one. By, let me see, if I'm looking at this correctly, this could go up to 51% stronger. And I don't know the exact math behind this, but that's wrong. And this is where uh, I myself am going to put in and keep my secondary reduced earth. Here's my reduced earth. Thus creating a, uh, what would have been a 23.1 at full maxed E leveled Reduced Earth times that by 2 would be 46.2. This is also going to uh, boost up even more to due to that 10% bonus. Which would be, I think, 2.31%. If I'm not mistaken. It's not very much of a bonus, but... I mean, looking at the rest, it may seem like a huge bonus... Due to the high 10, 27s, but it's only small bonuses, so. But if you do not want that secondary reduced earth in there, that is completely fine. That's where I've already planned ahead and said, put in the mana recovery and independent action skill. So you increase your defense attack power via uh, drive skill and shit like that. And then you got mana recovery to constantly do that, so. This is a less protected, less powerful variation, but faster speed-wise. That's what the entire intent of that was for, is to keep somewhat of a balance, but you can definitely tell he's going to have significantly more power than he would defense. And it's a sacrificial thing, but it's gaining huge benefits. And I will show you exactly how well these benefits go, but first we're going to go into his costumes. Like always, his, his base attire... Shut up! Shut up! You're a quiet boy! Shut up! Anyways, um, what uh, this is, is it's just his base outfit. I'm going the wrong way. Very shiny shoulder pads, let me tell you. Very, and look, I'm, I was two seconds from zooming in on his ass just to be like, and look at that ass crack, but no, I am not doing that. Because I already pushed my luck with Astolfo's guide with... Showing and teaching you guys how to look up his skirt and yes, I'm still saying his because that is in fact a dude I don't care But yeah, um, that's this is just his base outfit through the anime. 
I just don't think it glows as much. I, I'm not sure about his right arm right here. I think that may be something exclusive to the game. But chat, yeah, this is his base outfit throughout the anime and the game. Very nice. I'm playing with his ponytail at the moment. Shut up. It go woof. Come on. I want to see if I can't get that over his shoulder. Come on. Over the shoulder. Over the shoulder, bitch. Fine. Fuck you. Next, you'll see the outfit I was wearing. Armor of the Mad Dog. This is... Uh, gain I do I want to say by completing off a extra mission and I don't remember that but I like this one significantly more than the other one because although this is the almost the exact same variation it's kind of like the symbiote spider-man to regular spider-man really I mean the only difference is that it's black you will see blood stains all over his armor set I like the unique design to it as well, even if it is, you know, just a little more to it. You know, he got blood on his hands too, and you know, he got that nice little uh, I'm not sure what to call it, but you know, he has that nice little thing to it, and it shows he's not just a completely good guy like he is, but it, it just looks badass. And finally, you got his uh. DLC custom blue diver where he's shirtless and he's in scuba gear because if you uh, look carefully or actually there's no even need to look carefully you can see he's wearing flippers and stuff like that I'm gonna zoom up in uh, this is where he used to have like the rest of his uh, scuba suit on just he took and took his shirt off really he has you know scuba shit and he has you know that mask and stuff Although it's nothing special, I mean, he also, it also reveals the fact that he has a tattoo or a marking on him, which I thought was actually a very cool uh, add-on to the character as well, just to display off, so, you know, just to display something like that, because that does not have, like, there's no hinting around that at all, so, next, that is all I got, and then we finally get down to the, uh, oops, then we finally get over to the relics, or not relics, but the uh, mystic codes. As you can tell, I'm still hunting down that last fucking, uh, my last two imp uh, code casts, and it's still not giving it to me, which is being a total dick right now, but still. Now this one, it, it was very tricky on what to choose, because you've got, you know, so much you could choose from. And I'm like, what to do on him? I was at first thinking about throwing off Imperial, or not Imperial, but the Archer Relic. Because of all the physical benefits. But you're like, why don't you just put down uh, the uh, Lancer then? That's more specialized to him. I would simply do that, but... I can't actually compare like besides the install skills because like I said those are just extras I don't even pay attention to those until I'm comparing down like that same exact mystic codes and shit like that but uh, the reason why I won't choose this one is mainly because I prefer to have even more speed on top of the speed he already has I mean sure the time reduction is nice which you know is that but I prefer to have speed over that and it looks like they won't have speed with the mystic codes at first I was thinking archer or yeah the archer but after uh, going over it and it reminded me he was actually a saber relic if I'm not mistaken I would have had him saber relic I have a, depending on the build because I wanted an offensive build that's what this one's for and since most of his cooldowns pretty quick I mean that's why I didn't go with like Lancer Relic because his cooldown is small. You know, he don't have too high of a cooldown so it don't matter too much. So, but you're like, uh, I thought you were trying to, you know, uh, keep him on a very uh, mutual, uh, well not mutual, but a very balanced thing. No. But if I was to say I'm not going to have my uh, self a balanced and you know whatever, I would actually go with uh, 
want to balance this out a little more I'm actually going to change my no uh, I'm changing my notes actually I'm changing it right in the middle of the fucking guy that's right I am changing everything I was just about to say I'm going with spirit stone of yeah the spirit stone right here because this is going to add elemental attacks and chance to every fucking attack he has all across the board he's balancing that out tremendously and this is honestly one of the best fucking skills I've ever found I'm actually trying to see if I can't find one that's a uh, EX plus variation of it and I am once I do I swear you're gonna solve the place it for the EX plus but this is gonna give you all four attack skills there's only six of these though so all of those are for that he's going more power well not just power but this is an aggressive build I should have I should have stated that it's not you know powerhouse it's aggressive that is the term I was looking for the entire time is a was looking for an aggressive build he is an aggressor that's what I'm changing about this uh, Lancer over the other ones is he is going to be built for an aggressor which is kind of funny but I will quickly show you the benefit like I will beat the living the hell out of everyone with all this power like I swear to goodness there's so much power here is not funny so let me show you how much power this guy has and I wasn't joking at all when I uh, started this so that like look at how fast this guy's moving I'm sorry but that's always funny he's already fast to begin with so but with all of that uh, all the benefits to his speed he's moving even faster adding off I don't I'm not sure if that affects your dash at all but I'm pretty sure it is actually so he's move, he moves quickly Oops. this is with all his uh, active skills equipped there's that speed and I need to use all four code casts I just accidentally used the fifth one so I, I will show you how exactly why are they all the same what the fuck is going on here okay if this guy does not stop spamming me with invite alright so let me look at how quickly he's uh, building up a combo just by that this is why I put on the uh, uh, all those reduced skills cuz look at this this is this is absurd actually I figured out how fun this is I'm not even trying I'm just spamming the square button I don't think I like this is why I chose him to be an aggressor I remember exactly why he's an aggressor I didn't use a single active skill for that not one that was just his square button. Like, straight up. If done correctly, that is exactly why I chose him to be a aggressor, is because of how quick this build is. This is why I told you to do that, because I've, I, like, I've made a side mention, like, good comboing. This is how well he could combo without all his, uh, all that speed on him, but... I mean, that is just absurdly good. That was the, uh, gal the, uh, the bald move is named after the same, uh, oh shit, I need to stop playing around. Alright, uh, an aggressor of reach, okay, that is the, uh, hold on, I gotta defeat this guy, I, I'm needing to stop this aggressor, hold on. But that was the uh, Fang of Earth. Like I said, very similar to the same move in uh, Resident Evil, well, not Resident Evil, but in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 for Albert Wesker is very similar, so. I, I still can't fucking get over the fact that it was hilarious because it, it was crack. That, that's what it was. 
And I still haven't even activated my, uh, skills that, or my boost yet. My, uh, buff skill. That, I still haven't made one. Jeez. Spams me with fucking, uh, invites to everything, and I'm like, I'm doing this. Chill. That was annoying. Stop fucking inviting me. I will fucking turn off my notifications. I swear to goodness. Jeez, it's annoying. I do like to apologize to all you guys though. Like, I, I'm sorry that this dick was, you know, spamming the shit out of my screen and it's... Uh, the odds are it's, you know, popping up on your thing and yeah. That is the magic spear throw. Yeah, get over it. I'm not going to join your thing yet. No, I'm not joining. I swear to goodness. Anyways, where's oh, my message right there? That's the guy I'm looking for. But I mean, his like I didn't exactly like this is why they chose to put natural body with him is because he's very he's very capable of fighting without his active skills and I really do recommend putting on natural bodies. Okay, guys, hold on can't do this I'm going to have to stop this now I'm, I'm not sure if you guys are being blocked to this or if you see what's being put down but I'm sorry but I have to do this for the time being I'm gonna have to disable my uh, notifications cuz I can I can't do this I really can't display message notification off I'm sorry guys, but I had to because this is a guide for everyone. I don't need some dipshit going around saying fuck white. You received a message. Why the... So I am so sorry about all that. I don't need no type of drama on these guys. I swear to goodness, this is so unprofessional. All right, where am I at? Jeez, but I know, guys. Before this dipshit wants to uh do all this, and yes, I'm going to call him a dipshit because I know exactly who that is. So uh, the reason why I uh like he's very good without any active skills. He's one of the very few servants I will recommend not using, uh, not even worrying about active skills too much. The only active skill I think that might would only benefit, that is his boost, by the way. That's the, uh, buff skill he has. And, yeah, and I can't really show you too much, but this is exactly why I decided to put down multiple, uh, active skills at, or, uh, Magic resist at once or reduced earth. I mean, more than half of his stuff will not be needed for this full aggressive build. I even without the aggressive build, I would put more natural bodies on him, and I will put down an another reduced earth if I wasn't, you know, whatever. But because I know some, like, this guy's also supposed to cover the fact that not everyone's going to be able to pull this off. And that's cool, you know? I don't expect everyone to be able to do that, because, you know. But he's definitely built for, uh, just base attacking. His active skills are cool, but, I mean, they're very... He, he's very fine without them. So, let me just... 
and his active skill. How do you not like this guy? He's honorable, he's fun to play as, and he's a crackhead. I mean, when you swing around your weapon like this, come on. But yeah, guys, I truly do recommend, like, this I think the one time where you will see I, I'm not using very many diff, uh, very many active skills. I'm just swinging my uh, lance a bunch, and that's all I'm doing. So, the reason why I built him the way I did in the guide over the way I would have, you know, originally built him is mainly because I know not everyone's going to be able to, you know, juggle off and deep, you know, keeping your own skin, you know, saving your own skin while out oh, shit while fighting off against others hell here's against a berserker class servant I mean it's just one of those fun things like he's completely powerful without any active skill however I just like using active skills still because yeah I boofed off his active skills just in case if you uh, preferred using them Mainly because of that skill right there, the best skill he has, in my opinion. Although it's not the strongest, I just always enjoyed it because, you know, really, it's quick, it's easy to use, and it hits a, uh, it's an area attack skill. Not like an exact area attack, like, where you like, kind of like a, what's a good example? I want to give you an example, it's just nothing's come to mind. But it's gonna hit everything in that small proximity, and it's just useful. That's why I boosted up so much on uh, Martial Blessing, despite my usage of really just the Lance this time. Like, that's where he mainly uh, goes, is Lancing. And unlike some of the other servants, uh, once you jump and use a heavy attack, he actually does a sliding rush attack in a way. His regular attack, you would just jump, attack, but if you just do the heavy attack, you just double jump and it'll ram right into everybody in the way. And before Lancelot kicks Guywin's ass, because he always does, I'm going to save him. Steroids, man, that's pretty much what this is. Actually, let's add even more power to this mix. I said I was going for an aggressive mix, or an aggressive build. That's exactly what this is. Yeah, that's about to, that should have been over way beforehand. Oops. It's done already? Another reason why I do enjoy playing as him is just because just off that you can see he's so much fun to actually use whether he's powerful or not I mean it says he's a balanced servant but clearly I just turned him into nothing more than a brute force at that so Man, this I'm gonna actually start playing as this guy more. I know I only have one battle as him, but Jesus is incredibly fun. I forget how fun he actually is to play as. He's a fun character in the actual anime. He's fun here too. So I truly say he's uh, one of my higher ranked characters just off that. So I just don't. Uh, apparently he has the um. While playing as him, I, apparently there's the um. Evaporate uh, reasoning skill has been attacked as well because clearly he don't know which direction he's going in. Got all this power, but nope, can't use it. I was also at like a uh, in the com uh, community I moderate. I've also been uh, I keep seeing uh questions about who to uh like if you were to change anyone to any class, kind of like Saber Stafo stuff like that or Lancer Mordred or whatever it may be Berserker I'd turn him into a Berserker real quick kind of like I'm done just let's yeah he'd be a bit smarter at that point 
I'm, I'm just gonna end this. This should not take very much to end. And clearly, I don't even think I need to use more than two of these. I think the only... Yeah, I only used two sets of uh, code cast. The only reason why the uh, ranged one's been used is I accidentally clicked it twice. Plus, that's all he does for his normal phantasm is he crouches down. How do you not like that? How do you not respect a guy like that? Just off of that, you know, one name. Or not name, but just that opening statement. How do you not respect this guy? And like I said about the Noah Phantasm name, ex the exact name of his move just... Yeah. It, it's been boofed up and... Yeah. You're not dead yet. That was inconvenient. Okay, I'm, I'm going to crack it on it. I swear. Actually, I'm, I'm going to lose this one on purpose. I'm not done yet. I'm not done. I just want to continue just blame this bullshit. I want to see how high his combo actually can get. If let you know, if you let this combo or let uh, him go and just black wild on everybody, I'm gonna see how high he could get. So far, the highest combo we've ever got with him was in the 2000s. No, damn it! That was disappointing. I'm disappointed now. Thanks, game. Uh, I... Plus, how do you not like them cheeks? Oh, look at them cheeks. I mean, he looks cool, he's honorable, and he's super fun to play as, and, well, he's strong as hell, clearly. So far, one of the better ranked servants, and he does make, uh, give my top servant, Astolfo, a huge run for his money. Fuck off. Alright. Uh, I will not see progress yet. And I will go into the... PvP and see if anyone's there. Because I highly doubt anyone is. Now give me a few minutes! Sorry, I'm being hollered for. I highly doubt I'm actually gonna have an opponent to fight, so... I'm not going to create a room this time. I'm just going to find one. So. I, I don't have time to uh, create one this time. And even then, just by that, you could tell no one's here to play. So, with that, I say, I hope y'all learned something. I hope you actually enjoyed such a crackhead. Um, I will go and uh, talk a little more about him later. Just, I'm kind of, I, I need to go, so. Yep, hope you guys learned something. I'll see you later.